Hello, and welcome to this overview on Frame.io for Adobe Creative Cloud. Frame.io for Creative Cloud brings powerful cloud-based review and collaboration tools to Premiere Pro and After Effects as part of your Creative Cloud subscription. First, make sure to sign in with your Adobe credentials to gain access to these useful collaboration tools. Users can sign in with Premiere Pro, After Effects, or via the Frame.io website. Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions include 100 gigabytes of dedicated Frame.io storage, up to five concurrent projects, the ability to share media with an unlimited number of reviewers, and camera to cloud with compatible devices. Adobe does allow for upgraded accounts, which will increase all the features I just mentioned. For this overview, I will focus on the review tools of Frame.io. In a nutshell, one of the main features of Frame.io is the ability to gather feedback from multiple team members on video edits within Premiere Pro in real time. The feedback is gathered via the Frame.io app or any web browser. The main benefit is that feedback and edits can be collected without the editor leaving the Premiere Pro timeline. Other benefits include accurate commenting, accelerated file transfers, and free sharing with reviewers anywhere. Edits left by collaborators are automatically imported into Premiere Pro through the Frame.io panel. You can also have the edits appear as markers in the timeline, which I think is very helpful. After making edits, Premiere Pro allows users to upload a new version in the Frame.io panel. Versions get stacked so that your team of reviewers is only seeing the most recent versions of any videos. Let's take a brief look at the Frame.io interface within Premiere Pro. To open the panel, navigate to Window in the Toolbar and select the Review with Frame.io option. A separate panel will launch and this is where you can start the review process. From the top, the first dropdown allows users to select a project to work on. The Upload button below will allow you to export and upload an active video sequence. Essentially, this will export the sequence that you have open in Premiere. Frame.io gives you some options when uploading, but most of it's pretty straightforward. One option that I enable is the export markers as comments choice. This allows editors to share some context throughout the video review process. I find it helpful to provide information this way to clients and collaborators. After choosing all your options, pressing upload will launch Adobe Media Encoder to export the video sequence. Once the export is complete, users have a number of choices on what to do next with the video. Choosing the three dots icon will reveal some of these options. The share for review option will allow you to share a link that anyone can access. You can choose to make the video private in that same drop-down menu to make the video accessible only by team members invited. Team members can be added by using the add collaborator button. Emails for each reviewer can be added in this panel. From the viewer's perspective, here's how they will see the video. Beneath the player, they can add time-coded comments during their review. Back in Premiere, in the Frame.io panel, the editor can see the comments come through in real time and import those comments as markers in the timeline. Once revisions are complete, editors can upload and continue the review process. On the reviewer side, the versions will be stacked on the page, but the original link will be the same, creating a nice workflow for video revisions. There are several options and powerful features within this tool. I highly suggest giving Frame.io a try in your next video review process. Thank you and be sure to check out the other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.